Now, why on earth would they discontinue this Nikon P1000? Does anybody have any idea? What's Did you know that NASA actually paid Nikon to stop selling the Nikon P1000 camera just before the total solar eclipse of April of 2024? Can you believe that? Now, do you have any idea as to why they would buy a company off and tell them to stop selling a particular camera just before an eclipse? Perhaps there was something that NASA didn't want us to see during this eclipse. Perhaps that the moon isn't actually blocking out the sun to cause the eclipse. Hmm. But I'm just being a conspiracy theorist. But the camera was called the Globe Buster. And all over Twitter and all over the internet, you can see videos of people zooming in on ships that supposedly disappeared below the curving horizon. Now the news likes to write things off and say that it's just a mirage or an optical illusion. And that that ship, looking like it's floating above the curving horizon, is doing just that. Because of the light being inverted and refracted and all these other silly things. When in reality, it's just sitting on an infinitely flat plane because the horizon doesn't actually end. It's just a visual horizon. But of course, I'm making all of this up and I'm a conspiracy theorist and the Earth is obviously a globe with a curving horizon. My Nikon P1000 just proved the big question about the moon. This is not the first time NASA is doing something shady like this. This is not the first time. You know, they discontinued this camera just before the eclipse because of this camera can actually expose their lies. They buy it off. This is exactly the reason why money was created and this is the reason why they control the money so that they can use it to silence their opposition and they can use it to buy out or buy off their opposition. That is what they do. You know. This is not the first time they are doing it, and I'll tell you another time they did it. I don't know if you guys remember the Grand Canyon, right? Well, if you research the Grand Canyon, you will notice that there is there is ancient there is evidence of ancient Egypt in that place. A full big evidence of ancient Egypt in that place. After it was discovered, shortly after it was discovered, guess who actually bought that place? NASA. NASA. And they prohibit anyone from researching that particular place in the, in the Grand Canyon. Isn't it crazy? Now, they are doing the same thing to this camera. They've actually done it to the camera. They've discontinued. You can't actually get it anymore. So, I'm pretty sure that um, they would put a price on anyone who wants to sell their camera so that you know, they can sell it for an insane price you know so that they can just get rid of the camera altogether so people please if you have this camera please hold, hold hold steadfast to it i would i would love to get one for myself i would love to get one but it's crazily expensive don't worry about it even if i i, I want to get one to discontinue it so except somebody actually has one please if you do have one keep it it's it's, it's, it's going to be very rare to actually get this camera in the future. So, um, back to the story. This is not the first time NASA is doing something shady. I'm pretty sure they've done a lot of shady businesses. Just like they don't want people to know that they are the biggest supply, um, biggest buyer of helium, you know, for their satellites. Which proves that, hey, this thing is not floating in space. It's a balloon, right? The thing is that a lot of people believe the lies NASA tell them. And even when NASA has come out to say, okay, yes, it's a cartoon. We showed you guys a cartoon. But they, they, they tell you that it is a scientific cartoon. So it is real, but you can't actually see the real footage. You can only see the cartoon footage. Come on, man. Come on, who does that? Where is the real footage that the cartoon is actually based off? It doesn't exist. As usual, guys, if, if this video resonates with you, please share it. Special thanks to my channel uh, members. Thank you, guys.